The recently approved drug for COVID-19, Paxlovid, consists of the new antiviral Nelmotrelvir, co-packaged with ritonavir. Ritonavir is an HIV drug, originally used at a high dose to combat HIV directly, but is now used at 100 mg once or twice a day as a pharmacokinetic booster. Ritonavir blocks the breakdown of Nelmotrelvir in the liver, thereby increasing its concentration in the body so that it's sufficient to inhibit coronavirus. However, the specific pathways blocked, mainly the enzyme cytochrome P450-3A4, CYP3A4, and the transport protein P-glycoprotein, are also really important in the handling of many other drugs that a patient may be taking. This means that drug interactions are a major consideration and potentially restriction for the prescription of Paxlovid. HIV doctors have been managing ritonavir interactions for decades, but there are some important differences in its use for COVID-19. Paxlovid treatment is only for five days and it is given in the community away from clinical supervision. This changes how we can manage drug interactions. When deciding how to manage a specific drug interaction, there are a few things we need to consider. For example, the contribution of CYP3A4 to the overall metabolism of the drug. The magnitude of the interaction is expected to be greater for drugs highly metabolized by CYP3A4. The therapeutic index of the impacted drug is also important. How dangerous is a rise in drug concentrations? Ritonavir can also be impacted by a drug interaction. Strong CYP3A4 inducers like rifampicin, carbamazepine, phenytoin and St. John's wort will reduce ritonavir concentrations and therefore its boosting properties. Paxlovid drug interactions are a particular challenge to manage as patients are required to self-isolate after testing positive for COVID-19. Clinical monitoring or dosage adjustment will in most cases be difficult or impossible given the short treatment course. The following questions should be considered when managing drug interactions. First, can the co-medication be stopped? As a general rule, consider pausing interacting drugs if it is clinically appropriate to do so. Statins can typically be stopped for a short period of time without any risk of clinical harm. Second, can the drug interaction be easily monitored? For some drugs, the patient can be counselled about the potential drug interaction and advised to temporarily pause their medication if feeling unwell. However, some other drugs require complex management, like tacrolimus used in solid organ transplant patients, in which case the risk-benefit of prescribing Paxlovid should be carefully evaluated. All these factors mean that the recommendations differ to those given for long-term treatment with ritonavir for HIV. For the most up-to-date advice, we recommend using our COVID-19 website, www.covid19-druginteractions.org or app. Here you will find detailed drug interactions with Paxlovid, with suggestions on how to manage them. This advice is constantly updated as fresh evidence on how to manage Paxlovid emerges. Thanks for listening.